Sakitnya tuh di sini di dalam hatiku. Sakitnya tuh. Hi, I'm Alana from Sakitnya tuh di sini group. Finally, we are here in Lim Kok Bing University. Uh, we will interview interviewing a few students from University uh, Lim Kok Bing University. We will do the interview later on. So stay tuned. After this, um, we will reveal slowly what they learned about culture because our topic for our assignment is culture different types of culture, what they, what is their experience, what they are very interested on and uh, the sharing from other students in New Kowei. Okay, see you guys later. Good morning, my name is Jennifer. So we came here to interview you guys about our, our regarding our assignment. In order to fulfill our requirement, we have to interview regarding uh, culture, any culture that you're interested in. Or what is the difference of your culture with others culture? For example, you guys have a multi-races and a lot of international students that you can share about your experience. So um, basically I teach design. Okay, and Hi, uh, my name is Dexter and I'm also a um, lecturer in Faculty of Design Innovation. Okay, basically um, uh, regarding the question, maybe they look at this. Okay, um alright, I'm uh, my my rights, okay, I'm Liban mix Chinese. So I usually celebrate Chinese New Year and also Kawai. And um, yeah, talking about food first, okay. Uh, Kawai usually we have a lot of uh, traditional food, especially for Iban culture, we have Kwe Jala. And then uh, my grandmother always makes Kwe Jala also. And the process, everything, yeah, I look at the process, it's quite hard and you need to have a skill to do that. And uh, it's great to see that my grandmother still have that uh, equipment, everything to do the Kwe Jala traditional way. And Kawai, usually like, we have a lot of famous food like Ayam Panso, and then we have uh, Rebom, some people do Rebom, and then um, yeah, at, um, Iban there's a lot of uh, food, uh, various food also like, uh, what we call that in Iban is Dan Jabang. Dan Jabang, okay? Uh, Dan Jabang and you cook with uh, tapus and also sometimes with um, just just with lachan I think uh, it tastes nice of course yeah and then for pangso it mix with uh, with, uh, the daun jaba also um, and, and chicken yeah of course and then a lot of my students here they ask me um, where is the best place to eat this traditional food so sometimes we do invite them to the house during kawaii for Chinese New Year yeah Kachama is very famous. I think all around the world eat kachama for Chinese food, uh, bakpo, yeah. and then we have, what else we have here? Uh, for Chinese culture, the one that we must eat, uh, uh, one, one of the festivals is bakchang. Uh, okay, so uh, bakchang is a triangle uh, food. If in Malay we call it tepong pulut, 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 yes. Ah, garas pulut, yes, garas pulut. So that is the then inside sticky rice. Sticky rice, yes. So inside uh, we mix with uh, mushroom, chicken, okay, and then sometimes some people they like to put uh, kacang. Yeah. So that is what we usually have here in in my culture, Iban and also Chinese. Okay, so my part, uh, I'm quite mixed myself. Uh, my dad is uh, Iban Chinese and my mom is Indian Midayu. So um, this is one from the side. Uh, we also celebrate um, Kawai, we celebrate um, Bibali, we celebrate um, basically anything. So um, multiracial uh, families, you get to enjoy so many kinds of um, traditional food, um, different, different cultures. and. Uh, we all want the Gawai, but we, um, of course we love um, the Tua. And uh, we, for Bidayu, I think, um, for my Bidayu, our dialect is uh, Bukar Sandong from Syrian. So we call it Barum. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. Yeah, so we have um, the Barum. And then um, food wise, we have um, the Ipan one is Ayam uh, Anso. Bidayu, uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, there is this one food. Yeah, the one in bamboo with rice. Oh, yeah. No, the one is Ipan. Lemang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another word for it. I, I forgot the name. Okay, but you guys can search it out because it's really good. Um, ketupat. 
I mean, even though it's Malay, but we also are influenced with our uh, local Malay food. Our, our food are very influenced not only by our own tradition, but um, so many traditions um, that you find yeah. in your local um, city, for example. Okay, and um, when it comes to culture, of course, there will be so many festivals. And I think that's what makes um, Sarawak a nice place to visit because you get to see all these uh, festivals. And you can see, like, even for our campus itself, in Lindbark Wing, you have um, students from around the world. You know, like what Lulu said, we have from Korea, we have um, a Japanese student, Indonesian, Bruneians, so many. And you can share all this culture with everyone. So what, what we usually bring in our student class that if uh, we want them to mix around and we do we do a project in the middle of Etsrawa so they can combine all of the old folk stories and then uh, the food, food and beverage, costume, the festival, everything and they apply in their assignment. So you yeah that, that, that's what they learn. So they learn from each other like Japanese student, Indonesian students yes. and they learn something from Asia. We have international students that take in Malaysian studies. Yes. Even though that it's not compulsory for them, but they want to learn more about Malaysia. So, yeah, um, it's an interesting combination that we learn from each other. Like, Dexter, I learn something that uh, uh, Indian cannot eat beef, so at least I know from Hindu, that's great Hindu. Um, they, they cannot eat beef, and then Chinese, someone they cannot eat beef, so it's part of the culture. And then, uh, yeah, something, something new yeah, that I learned so far. Yeah, my name is Mike King. Okay. So basically, we came here to interview, have a short interview session to fulfill our assignments requirement regarding culture, um, your culture difference, what is your experience, and any culture that you adopt while you're in Malaysia. So yeah, you can share it. Well. Right. With regards to culture, um, like I said earlier, um, yeah. my experience with this country, especially Sarawak. My, my idea of the culture has been wonderful because being here has also well, coming from Africa and also uh, I had uh, two backgrounds. First in Africa, um, born in Canada, lived there um, all my life. Oh, that so, explains that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. So the difference, uh, that explanation, and coming here, there's a little similarity between the Canadian culture. So culturally, I'm African, and nationally, I'm Canadian. So now the, the experience that I've had with Sarawak, the relationship, the correlation between the two countries, you know, maybe Asia and also the American continent, is that in Canada you have a lot of trees, you have a lot of, you know, you have a lot of uh, uh, Asians, also in Vancouver and Toronto, a few other places in Burlington. But however, uh, being in Sarawak has taught me that the people here are very quiet, very cool, they're pretty slow to pace compared to a metropolitan city. So the experience with also working here at Lincoln when being international marketing, uh, being international marketing has also helped me understand that the various culture from um, you know from Brunei, among students from Brunei and a few other places like China, the cultures are pretty intertwined. So being an Asian gives you that platform to be able to work together with other Asians as well because the, rela the relationship between cultures are very close. So for me, the culture shock that I had was. Um, when I was one time walking down the street and I got robbed. Wow! <laughs> oh. You were robbed? robbed? Yeah, in Sarawak. Okay? And uh, it, was, it was a big shock for me because the folks were standing looking at me like that. So I thought yeah. it was a shock too. Yeah, it was a shock too. So, but in other countries like in Canada or in Africa, if you get robbed in daylight, broad daylight, you will be, the person will be attacked. Yeah. They'll literally put a tire and burn it down. So the, the culture difference was there for me, and I was like, well, this folks are staring and looking at me like that? All right. So <laughs> it, it was surprising for me. However, I think the Sarawakians are wonderful people, they're great people, and I believe that this country, Sarawak for me is a country. I believe that it's a great country, it's a great place, and uh, someday this country will stand for itself. Any other friends, yeah. which is, I mean, local friend from yes. Sarawak? Yes. I and, have, yeah. Well, I, I do have friends who are from Sarawak. I, I've got a friend, his name is Gideon. He's, uh, he's from uh, a privileged student of Inter College. A very good young man from Bidayu. I've got a few friends who are Bidayu. And, uh, and I believe that the races are very related, very close. And um, the one thing I would say, the takeaway from me, uh, would be that Sarawakians are very humble people. Very humble, very kind-hearted, very outgoing. But not too outgoing, of course. <laughs> but there are a few exceptions, and uh, what well, we said that the cultures are, are based on families, 
I think all depends on what kind of family they come from. Because I've seen some Iban who are very reserved, mm -hmm. and I've seen Iban who are very outgoing. Mm -hmm. So I think that my friend, like Gideon, and a few other ones who are Bidang and Iban, are very, it all depends on the, the upbringing. Mm -hmm. So culturally or experience wise, a, a person cannot be defined by a nationality, yes. but uh, uh, they're defined by the environment they grow up in, because the environment plays a major role in making you who you are. Mm -hmm. so, so do you know about the, uh, the festives? Yes. Do you know about their foods? Uh -huh. What do you think about it? Yeah, uh, I, think that, I think that the culture, I can't mention much of the Iban, but I know that they, the festivity of the Iban people yeah. have a harvest season, mm -hmm. which is the Gawai, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wonderful experience where you have the rice wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to choke on that. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, the rice wine and also um, the wonderful porks and whatnot. Wow. Um, yeah. 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 Those, are, those are real delicacies. And I, I, I look forward to the Gawai coming out. Mm -hmm. And then the Bidai is celebrating the same thing. Yeah, I think that it's a great, great culture. I mean, this it's no way you can bring down Sarawak. It's a wonderful, beautiful, uh, I would say, true, true, beautiful color of God's nature. So, um, we have interviewed with the students, the lecturers, and also the staff from the International Marketing Department. So, I hope that we, they respond well to our questions and fulfill our assignments requirement regarding culture, how we relate culture to their own life and to others, and also uh, experience different culture and ethnic in Malaysia. So anything you want to add on? Um, for us, culture is a big word. It's not about only race. It's not, it's not only about different races, but also it's how the person being brought up in their family, starting from their family and then their races and then um, the nation. That's all from us. China, if you go to the big city, you will know they are quite cool. Oh. Malaysian food, I like. <laughs> yeah, I know you like Malaysian food. <laughs> I like durian. Oh, oh you like durian. Yeah. China don't have durian. Don't have. Oh. Okay. We import from another country. Do you have any friends from Malaysia, the locals from from Sarawak? I mean, other oh. races like Iban, Bidayu? Many lah. You guys also. <laughs> Do you know about their culture, their festivities, their foods? Mm, local, local friend. Huh? Yeah. Shannon Ting, Shannon Liu, and Shannon Gui. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is the uh, ranch of them? Most of them are Chinese. Chinese. Oh, yeah. Just now, you, oh. the, the names that you mentioned just now mostly are Chinese. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let me ask you now. Is there any difference between the China culture and the Malaysian culture for Chinese? What do you think? Different. The language. The most, yeah, most obvious one is language. Even though they speak Chinese, but the pronunciation oh, okay. is totally different. <laughs> example, can you give an example? Example? Mm -hmm. If I say uh, print, okay. uh, I will say da yin in okay. Chinese. Is it? But in here, they say or <laughs> in If I say da yin, nobody understands. Oh, okay, ah. okay, I get it. And English also different. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chinese English and Malaysian English also different. Okay. Good morning, I'm Sarah. 
I'm Sheree. And I'm Sui. So, what is your name? Awesome. Okay. May I know where you come from? I'm from Uzbekistan. Pardon? Uzbekistan. Oh, Uzbekistan. So, do you learn Malaysian? Yes. Why? Because it's quite nice and peaceful country. Do you like Malaysian foods? I really, if I will say, so so. So so. Why? It means some of food I like, some of even I don't. What type of food that you like? Most of the time, I'm eating different kind of curry. Curry. Yes. It's but in. Curry, uh, I think it's not all Malaysian food, it's from Indian food. No. Oh, yeah, but most of the Malaysian food, I didn't like. So you don't like laksa? <laughs> not. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not. No. Okay. Then so, what do you eat usually? Usually I really cook by myself. Oh, you oh, cook by yourself? Oh. You know how to cook the local cuisine? The Malaysian cuisine? Do you learn any? Mm. Not. No? Not. Only I learned how to cook curry. Okay. Oh, so, like very much. Uh, what do you think about Malaysian culture and what do you think about your own culture? What do you can co uh, conclude from that? I actually don't have any more difference because most uh, both of the country, my culture and Malaysian culture, mm -hmm. both of them Muslim country, Muslim country, culture. And Malaysia is most of two different kind of culture which is Muslim and non-Muslim mm -hmm. which is Christian and our country most of people are Muslim okay. and culture difference I think it's same don't have any difference Do you have a friend a local friend from here which is have which is different culture than yes. you Yes. Then what do you think about it? Do you know about the festives, the local foods? I mean, traditional foods. What you can sell? I have a few, a few friends mm -hmm. like, from here local, but I don't know their food, national food, or anything more about their culture. Okay. What what what? What is the thing that you know about them? If you don't know about their food, you can just say. A few friends have, which is a non-Muslim mm -hmm. and they Christian, and we are celebrating different kind of celebrations. Okay. If we will celebrate even simple things, everyone will celebrate in the world New Year. Okay. In 31st of December, sometimes the uh, Chinese people they will celebrate 19th of February. And difference of of big celebration is this one. Mm -hmm. And they are Christian and most of them they have same celebration which is uh, in Christian have Good Friday. Yes. Yeah. And in Muslim also have Friday, which means praying. I think we don't have any more difference. Most of them have the same. Enjoy the video and learn more about culture and have better understanding about culture. Thank you, that's okay. it. Hey.